us now one of Governor Christie's closest advisors, Bill Palatucci. We welcome you back to the program. You know, we're talking about money as we come into this interview. Uh, there's an awful lot being spent. Is there too much money in the system? Is it hurting our electoral system? Well, listen, I, I think that depends on the candidate, and, and I think, um, you know, there the were too, too many rules, and, and that's why people have gone to these uh, super PACs and these independent committees. Um, I, I want to always believe that just be, should be instantaneous transparency. Let people contribute and let the voters know about it. And, and if you don't like that a candidate is receiving money from a certain person or certain organization, then don't vote, vote for that So you'd candidate. be better off, you think, uh, we'd be better off if you could just write the check for whatever you want directly to the candidate and get rid of the other things that are kind of like middlemen. Well, uh, that's exactly right. I don't know about middlemen, but they've, they've simply become these independent expenditures and these big uh, super PACs and these, these, this vehicle that's outside the normal process. And frankly, what it's hurting, it's hurting you know, the parties and it's hurting um, the ability of candidates to fund having uh, grassroots people involved. Uh, let's talk about, first of all, the debate. Uh, you know, the governor had said that the debate was going to be the two debates. In fact, Barbara Bono's worst days. A lot of observers think that she had some of her best days at those debates. What do you think? Oh, I think she got a couple shots in there, but no, I think the governor won uh, both debates clearly uh, going away. I think a lot of the, the pundits and analysis afterwards found that uh, to be the true. I think she was stilted, very scripted, um, and, and hard to have a, a, a genuine or original moment. I think the governor was... Did she surprise you with anything that she said or did? No, not, no. I think, she, you know, the governor got under her skin when she, and he kept saying, you know, we're still trying to recover in New Jersey from the John Corzine, Barbara Bono days. And every time I mean, you mentioned John Corzine. She got very upset and kept saying, you know, I'm not John Corzine. Well, you know, sorry, but you were there and, 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 and part of, of, of those times. And so I think that kind of got under her, her skin. But I thought the governor did very well in terms of talking about the future and where he wants to take the state. What do you make of the Cory Booker margin of victory over Steve Lonigan? Do you, some people say, well, maybe the governor had some coattails there. Maybe his endorsement helped Lonigan get closer than he would have. Uh, well, listen, I think a double-digit win is a fairly healthy win um, for Cory. I think people expected to do much, much better, perhaps. Perhaps, but I think a, a double-digit win for the for for Corey is, is is healthy. Were you was the governor? Were you guys comfortable dealing with with Steve Lonigan? There had been some dust-ups oh. in years past. No, absolutely. I think look at Steve's own words uh, in his concession speech last night. He was very complimentary to the governor. I thought Steve was very gracious. Thanked the governor for his early strong endorsement and the uh, work that the governor did at the end. So I think the two of them um, don't agree on, on on a lot of things, but uh, Steve was very appreciative of the governor's work. You did uh, hearings today for. Uh, a new Supreme Court justice. The, the governor has taken heat from someone in the legal community. The Bar Association is warning about possible dangers to the integrity of, of the justice system. Uh, is there any chance at this point of, of a rapprochement between the governor and Democrats in terms of the ability of him to appoint justices that will get both heard and approved? Well, I think today is a step in the right direction. I assume I'm, we're sitting here. I don't know what the results mm -hmm. of the hearing were. Um, and the Bar Association, you know, it's kind of inside baseball. They, they've kind of, frankly, taken um, uh, shots at both the legislature and the process in general, and, and, and not that, not just the governor. Not that you were Im implying that. Right. But um, I think it, it, you know, it, it's a great appointment for the for the governor. But you have two other appointees and, who and have not done who, hearings. Expanded, who, who, mm -hmm. who now looks like will, will join the court. Governor's appointed an, an Asian American and Judge Bauman, uh, African American and. and and Mr. Harris and Phil Kwan, Korean American. So, mm -hmm. you know, the Democrats want to be obstructionists on, on this, from my view, from a tactical point of view. You know, like, you know, make my day, go ahead. Bill Palatucci, we have to leave it there. Thanks for coming in, sir. Good to see you, Mike. Thanks.